Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host. It is my duty, my, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I can bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror and sci-fi, and really, anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you enjoy tonight's con uh, offering content for the blood god on with the show and speaking of uh content for the blood god tonight's offering is in line with what we're going to be doing afterwards which is Baldur's gate 3 um tonight we happen to have a short film called fantopia um an award-winning dungeons and dragons inspired fantasy short film i thought we would flip the script for a little bit just because we are indeed a short film house here and um i um like uh palate cleansers as that's what Baldur's gate 3 is for me is a palate cleanser from um best day <laughs> so um this one is by crimson armadillo you can go ahead and give them a sub and uh and a like and uh yeah let's boogie ladies and gentlemen i hope uh you enjoy i really hope this is a good one i mean they're all pretty good like um i found that uh like 99.9 percent .9 of the short films that i watch on here I fully enjoyed to some point, to some degree. So, with that being said, let's see what's in here. And away we go. sense of presence. Mm. You are definitely not alone. Riley! What? Time out. I just needed to get out of there. I've told you, you and Max are welcome here anytime. My head's pounding with all this bickering. Sit down. This is my cousin, Max. Mm. Oh, shit. I should be going anyway. <laughs> Maybe that's not a very good idea. Tristan, the rogue. I'll bring you into All the right, world soon. This is be cool. The shrubbery moves, a mysterious figure emerging. Removing their hood, a man. He gives up a kind aura. Thank you, brave warriors. Without your help, these men would surely have taken my wares and left me for dead. Your wares? But there's nothing on your horse. State your business. My name is Despo. I am a, a merchant of sorts. Of I'm a merchant of mirrors. I mean you no bother. Merely to express my gratitude. Mm. <laughs> a piece of me for you. What the catch? Something. More valuable than gold. Something neither bought nor sold. You know what it is? You always speak in riddles. A riddle I am yet to solve. Follow this road. You will find what you seek. Barry. Do you want 
any of this loot? Despo seems to vanish as if he was a mirage. Hours pass. Day turns to night. Both Vary and Titus continue down the dirt road. You notice something. A campfire. I stop Titus with my arm, pointing. I approach the fire cautiously. Delilah at the ready. A slender silhouette sits by the campfire. Tristan, the rogue. Hail, traveller. Who goes there? Do you want to respond? I, I don't know. I, I've never played. Speak back to my character. Who goes there? I'm Tristan. Who are you? <laughs> well, this is Fary, half elven witch. Her magic is pure. Her heart set on vengeance for the family taken from her by the Mad King. You're always a Mad King. I am the Brute of Winden, distant relative of the giant Divor, guardian of my Delilah. My name is Titus. What is a realm key? I saw castle ruins in my vision. Do you know of them? I haven't come across any on my travels. I may know someone who might. Where the bloody hell is he? Who is it we're meeting exactly? Bravest bugger I ever met. Seen him take down eight men at once with a bowl of stew. Holy shit. He's lost his eye though since then. Eating the bowl of stew? With the bowl of stew. Speak of the devil? God, oh. Ah, nice. Tell me why you bloody fool. You go fat, Titus. I think you've grown, Dardo. <laughs> <laughs> We're in need of your assistance. My fighting days are over. I've heard that one before. <laughs> Decent fucking makeup, too. That is something I cannot help you with. <laughs> Look, this relic, there are powerful people after it. To even use it requires a great sacrifice. And I don't intend to be on the wrong side of them again. I've seen them before. Where did you get that? I tried to persuade Dada. Our past must mean something. Roll the dice then. You use your charisma skill to persuade Dada. You need above a 10. To little effect, Dada is unmoved. He motions to leave. I buy Dada a drink. There's no point. You're rogue. You have a really low charisma score. You have to roll a 15 or over to even have a chance. Go for it, bro. Only rule is the one you don't make. Only bad rule is the one you don't make. You seem like a reasonable fella. How's about we get a drink down here? Some stew, perhaps? 
Aye, he likes to. That is the best idea I've heard all day. <laughs> Aye. Food and drink is always a fucking good idea. Yes! Way to go. Now you're getting it, Max. Toilet break? Friends. Max means everything to me. How can we carry on like this? He means a dad. Still going to be his dad. Still going to be in his life. You should come back and play again. Where were we? Dada explains that the man who took his eye had boasted about the realm key. He spoke of a riddle in the innards of a mountain called Dragon's Tooth. You come across an injured stranger on your travels towards Dragon's Tooth. I was entrusted to give this letter to my sister. But I don't think I'm going to make it. Please. After days of tireless walking, you finally reach the most northern point and are met with a blockade of mountains. Whoa. <coughs> I must be a cave. Dragon's tooth. Something bought, not sold, yet more valuable than gold. What's more valuable than gold? Diamonds? Of course, it was a turn. Typical brute. Watch your tongue. It's time. T I M E. What is it? Please. We only have one attempt left. We could lose the realm key forever. Neither bought nor sold, more valuable than gold, is built but not by hand. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Well done, boy. What was the answer? Trust. Yeah, trust. The answer is trust. Mm. You're not as stupid as you look, Tristan. It's an elven spell. Ondo Ole. Wista Lunde. Tanuevana. Cautious. That's what he it's too quiet. Titus! It's Farry! She's gone. I cannot thank you enough for all your help. It's I could never have gotten this far without you. Yes, Paul. You're breaking my heart. Piece of me. For you. The necklace. You've been following us. Simple tracking spell, my dear. I've been with you every step of the way. Since you were the one to solve that bothersome riddle. I'm going to let you decide. Oh, you couldn't, couldn't figure that shit out. Who do you pick? Time for the sacrifice, Tristan. Choose. Uh, you have ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Nice. Really? They left it there. Damn. Never trust me. Uh, yeah. Titus!
Ten of destiny. <coughs> Mum, we're going to be late. We're on time, Max. Come on, let's go. There's my boy. So, ready for the next chapter? So that was Fantopia. It was really cool. Um, if you've got kids, you like D&D, they like D&D, it's probably cool for them to watch with you. Uh, like, subscribe, share, follow, all that kind of good stuff. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, stay tuned. Um, I watch stuff like this all the time uh especially uh now this will be in my algorithm there we go so <clears throat> um we'll see some more stuff like uh like this i was very pleased that was good uh the uh, production quality was real nice the transitions were real nice the message was real nice um yeah, it was cool. I quite liked it. Um, be safe, be happy, be healthy. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.